Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got Jay Diggs, man. Man, he ain't letting up. For real, he's standing on business. I, I, I'll tell you that right now. You know, when it comes to this whole WAC 100 Blue Da Vinci situation. Now, Blue, you know, he was going on some interviews defending himself when it comes to people were saying on the internet about the BMF situation. Now... Jay Diggs hadn't spoke on Blue Da Vinci until Blue Da Vinci had spoke on him in these interviews that I'm talking about, right? So, you know, um, Jay Diggs went on a few platforms, you know, shout out UOD, that for the Cloud Chaser, you know what I mean? And uh, he spoke on the situation that happened with the phone call with Big Meech, you know, when it came down to BMF, how, you know, Big Meech called him. And he had Blue Da Vinci on the other line. He was basically going back and forth on that call. And Meech was like, he don't want to talk to Blue Da Vinci because he's a rat bastard. That's what Jay Diggs said, right? So also, he had, in one of the interviews, he had said to yo, WAC 100, he seemed like he's an intelligent dude, right? He said he deal with a lot of paperwork. So why he ain't telling his men to produce that, you know, that open mic that whole, that whole paperwork on that debriefing. You feel me? So, you know, Wack goes to Clubhouse and he goes on a rent. Start talking about the man's mother. Start talking about different things. Now, on this audio, it's even crazy because Diggs, J. Diggs is basically saying that Wack 100 is pretty much trying to put a crime on him that he ain't even do by talking about the late great. R.P. Mac Dre, you feel me? A Bay Area legend, you know what I mean? And um, I don't get it like why why he'll be disrespecting the man's mama, disrespecting Mac Dre. Like what what did these people got to do with what he said? You feel me? But I do think he's a clown. That's a fact. You know, whack one hundred to me. I think he's a clown. Old ball head, old ass nigga. Tough and tough, right? But um. I'm going to get to the audio, man. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. But J. Diggs also responds to that whole situation when Wack went on Clubhouse just yesterday and was telling everybody that J. Diggs said he was two hours away and he wanted him to pull up to a studio with over 100 cameras. They talking about dark alleys. What about the 100 cameras? Because that's on Clubhouse, too, when he said his old, uh, what's the dude name, Reek, Reek the Sneak or something like that. The guy who was on the podcast with him, he said that he was watching him on the camera because he got over 100 cameras. So he ain't said that out of his own mouth. But again, man, y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're not getting your notifications, gang, go ahead and unsubscribe. Hit the subscribe button again and click all on notifications. Let's get to it. One thing I don't play about my name. Let's share the example for the young niggas that shoot niggas for nothing and going to jail, you know, behind some shit that they could have punched a nigga in the mouth for. So me and you, we're gonna set example. Me and you. No gloves, real nigga shit. Meet up anywhere. Digs pull up everywhere, my nigga. Everywhere. You can bring all your all your peoples with you, everybody you wanna bring, bring your gang members, do all the shit. I'm cool with that. I don't got a problem with that. But this is me and you. It ain't no Bay LA Follow shit. J. Diggs or J. I got a Diggs bunch is. of niggas in LA. They love me to death, and I love them niggas too. So we ain't gotta go there. We ain't even gonna go there. But one thing for certain and two things for sure, nigga, you not getting around this fade. You asked for it. I didn't ask for it. You asked for it. You gotta stand on business, nigga. You gotta stand on it. You can't ask for a fade, nigga. You been to the pen, nigga. You been to the pen, nigga. You know once you disrespect a nigga and a nigga ask for his fade, you got to get that up. Or get off the yard. So which one is it going to be? Listen to this nigga's latest shenanigans, man. Let me show you how bad this nigga trying to get rid of this. Y'all remember at first he didn't know me, right? I don't know this nigga. Fuck this nigga. This nigga. Right here is what Diz talking about, right? J. Diggs about to play the audio where, you know, this bald head dude, Wack 100, 
say that he has something to do with the killing of Mac Dre. Crazy, right? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, gang. Let's get it. I'm going to suck a bunch of dicks and I want to fade. Right? Y'all got to listen to this nigga, man. I can't make this shit up. That's the nigga from the back. I, I don't know this nigga. Guess he had back Dre killed. Oh, 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 nigga. Let me play that back again. Who the hell is Jay did? That's the nigga from the back. I, guess, I don't know this nigga. Guess he had back Dre killed. I know this nigga. I gotta play that one more time to make sure y'all heard what y'all heard. I know what I heard. It's WAC 100 online. Now, mind you, this is this morning or yesterday on the internet. This is what WAC 100 said out his mouth. Who the hell is J.D.? That's the nigga from the bank. I don't know this nigga. Guess he had back Drake killed. I know this nigga. And I'm guessing he had back Drake killed. So, WAC. That's how you get out now, huh? You trying to send an innocent man to prison, nigga? What type of games did you play? You trying to get an investigation started on me, my nigga? It's all good. I ain't worried about that, my nigga. You know, because one thing about it, any... He a clown, y'all. Like, what's to that? Like, why would he say some shit like that? But he's supposed to be street. He, he like to say when he decide and dictate when somebody can, uh, you know, what he say on that, on that, that, um, uh, the text message? That he sent back to Zoda Roaster when Zoda Roaster was trying to line it up for him. He said he wanted this, right? But like y'all know, he be ducking. Period. Shit, a nigga be ducking. I just really tapped into this movement. Oh, and now Jay Diggs saying that he need two fades. He, he want the other one from the disrespect about his mama and about him. And he want another fade for the disrespect of Mac Dre. Get in the comments, let me know. They know what I mean to Mac Dre, and they know what Mac Dre mean to me. But I just thought I had to throw that out there to y'all to see what kind of nigga we working with, what we dealing with. This is a real police-ass nigga. Now, had I really had done some weird shit, <laughs> that's what this nigga would have been doing online. Boy, this nigga crazy. Whack, you got an answer for that, my nigga. You owe me two phase now. <laughs> and call your little brother Da Vinci. And tell him I need my shit too. As we gonna do it like men, or what you gonna do? What you wanna do? You tell me if you got other shit in mind, you can let me know. It's good. But as of right now, I'm standing on business, nigga. I want my fade, nigga. And I'm not letting up. Every morning, nigga, you gonna wake up to me on your head, nigga. You better come. You gonna have to come outside, pop out. That's all I'm saying. I'm standing on business, my nigga. I'm gonna need you to do the same thing, especially after making accusations like this, my nigga. I'm gonna put you in about for Dre. Nigga, I don't know why you niggas think it's okay to play with my legacy. We'll play with Dre legacy. That's good, though. I know where you got that from. I seen old Dick Ride and JT the bigger figure in your comments. That's what he want people to believe. Let me play that again. I'm going to play that one more time for y'all. Who the hell is JD? That's the nigga from the no. back. I, guess, I don't know this nigga. Guess he had back Dre killed. What kind of nigga is we dealing with? Alright, I ain't here to do no whole lot of talking. I just need y'all assistance. I tapped in with y'all because I really need y'all to tap in with that nigga. Tell him, get digs and fade, nigga. You asked for it. Anybody that missed. Y'all shut his live. Shut his live on Facebook and Twitter, gang. Let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? Get the message out there. Let's see how this go. Because, like he said, he trying to put the guns down. You know, trying to set a message, an example for the youth. Like, okay, somebody do disrespect you like this online. You know, rather than going to drastic measures, let's get it. Let's let's go ahead and box it out. And it's crazy that Wack One Hundred was the one who said that he wanted to fade. Now he's saying if he pulled up to this 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 studio of his with a hundred cameras, he's saying he'll knock them down. You feel me? But what happened to you wanting to fade? Now you want to knock them down? Because I don't know if y'all heard that audio. I won't be playing it. But thing is, y'all probably heard that shit. It's out there. Get in the comments. Let me know if you heard it. Let's get to it. Y'all yeah, go online and go see what that nigga said. That nigga talked about my mama. All the shit. And said he wanted to fade. Now, I accept the fade. Y'all know I don't do this internet shit. But the only way to get this nigga's attention is the internet. Because he's an internet nigga. He's somewhere with his cheeks up. Any lighter, bro? It's all good. 
There you go. What you smoking? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm in Honolulu, man. My man's needed a light. Y'all want to see where I'm at? Let me show y'all where I'm at, man. Let me show y'all this motherfucking view. Yeah, I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii. But I will be in motherfucking California this week. I'm going to say that. And I'm going to tell y'all exactly where I'm going to be at. I'm going to be at Chico, and I'm going to give y'all the whole location. You feel me? Yeah, we rocking out. This week. And that's another thing. Mac Drake mother was on Sway in the morning, and she spoke on, you know, how Jay Diggs, Kilo, was really down for, you know, her whole family in the past and the Mac Drake, making sure they was good. So that's real stand-up. Like, when somebody's saying that they stand on business, he, I guess he really mean this shit, right? Let us know in the comments, gang. Yeah, on the 27, I'm gonna be in Chico, Chico, California. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway. That's all I love, bro. So, anyway, yeah, I'm not, I, I didn't come in here to be on here for a whole long ass time to run my mouth for none of this shit. But, I'm gonna go get this point across. We got to get down. That's your favorite words, nigga? We got to get down. If you don't want to get down, just say it. I'll stop chasing you this way. I'll just find you when I find you. But you said we got to get down. And I can't wait. So, the sooner the better. The sooner the better. Let's get this shit started. It could be this weekend. It could be whatever. Y'all let no whack know. Diggs accepted the challenge, nigga. Stand on business, nigga. And stop being on the internet. Trying to catch a nigga a case for a killing that he know nothing about. But that's what happens, though. See, see, I, I know what happened, my nigga. See, you told your spies to go on the internet and get everything they could find on Jay Diggs, right? <laughs> but you found out it ain't no dirt on me, my nigga. My name is solid in these streets, my nigga. See, you, that was your problem, my nigga. You ain't heard of me because I'm not in the industry. See, you, you searched the wrong location to find out who you was dealing with. But now you know. Yeah, you ain't my my name my, my name is all good around here in any these streets, my nigga. My ass ain't up in the air on the internet. I ain't never told on nobody, nigga. Ain't no nigga put his hands on me, nigga. None of that shit. So while you out there searching and looking, my nigga, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it easy for you. Diggs is 100 out here. You might wanna ask one of your big homies. So I'm gonna get off this internet now. I'm gonna ask y'all to pass this around, man. We just wanna get whack outside. We ain't trying to do no 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 great bodily harm, but I'm gonna bust this nigga face open. So let's let's get to it. Whack 100. You're going to have to meet Diggs one way or another, my nigga. I'm going to pop up special. Just I'll be in every city in this motherfucking state. And anybody that know me know I'm not lying. So let's get to it. Let's get it set up. If you want to, you can hit Zoda Roaster. You got his phone number. Hit Zoda Roaster and tell him let's set it up. Oh, yeah. And this is where he about to respond to this whole thing on Clubhouse when we know Whack 100, the bald head dude, he was ducking it, right? Because Jay Diggs, he, he got with Zola Roaster. Zola Roaster did a podcast with um Whack 100. And, you know, he had spoke on some things because there was some controversy behind um Lavish. You know, where Whack 100 was saying that he got Lavish blackballed and then signed the cash money. Y'all remember that? Get in the comments and let me know if you remember that, that whole story. If you want me to break it down. Let me know. I'll drop a video on it, right? But it was a whole whole situation. So Zoda Roaster, you know, he cool with Lavish, you know, and he ended up having whack on his podcast. So they, they formed a, you know, a relationship like that. Like, you know, need anything called, I guess. So in this situation, Zoda Roaster, he good peoples with Jay Diggs. So he hit him up. We seen in the messages. You know, the dude Wack, he basically like, you know, um, he don't dictate when I move, tell him to get ready or something like that and be this, N-word this, you feel me? Y'all remember I covered it, right? So, right now you're going to hear him actually respond to what Wack been saying that he said he was coming in two hours and... He gave him a location, and now he want to 
Whack talking about he want to knock him down or something like that. Went from fighting to now you want to knock him down. It's crazy, man. Whole lot of police shit going on, man. Real talk. Let's get it. Matter of fact, I just heard that shit you said this morning about I called you and said I was in L.A. or two hours from L.A. Hey, listen, y'all. I've been telling y'all I've been in Hawaii this whole time. I don't play games. I don't pump fake. I don't do none of that shit. I found out the kind of nigga I'm dealing with. He's a compulsive liar. He want to use the internet to destroy niggas' names. That's why niggas try to say I was married to a man and all that old shit. Man, listen, I'm not going to let you play with me with that internet, my nigga. I'm not going to let you play with me. But now it's to the point where y'all know how he get out. Nobody believe that shit no more. But that nigga tried it. He tried it with the right one, though. One thing about it. And little nigga Blue tried to tell you, nigga. He tried to tell you. I just heard that, too. He tried to tell you, nigga. You a slow nigga. But you going to catch up. So I'm going to get off this internet now, my nigga. Because, uh... Y'all follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Share this on Facebook and Twitter with a hashtag, gang. Get the message out there. Send it on Instagram. It's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV. Salute.